Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest. In this video, we're going to talk about very small jetting hoses, the differences between them, and what their purpose might be. Um, in previous videos, we've talked about the 3 8 hose, half-inch hose, quarter-inch hose, but a lot of you guys want to use very small hoses for small lines, and of course for traps and difficult uh, pipes to transition with your jetting nozzle. Um, the eighth inch jetting hose is very common, um, especially common with electric powered jetters. Uh, the problem with eighth inch hose is that it just doesn't carry very much water. The inside of this hose is so small at only an eighth of an inch that it just can't carry a lot of volume. Um, with an electric jetter, that's really not a problem because electric jetters do one and a half, maybe two gallons a minute. But there's a way to get around that. A lot of guys don't know about what I call trap jetting hoses. They're basically built different. They're the same outside diameter as an eighth inch hose. It's big on the inside, so they'll carry much more water flow. These are a lot more appropriate if you've got a powerful jetter that's say 20, 30, 40 horsepower or more, and you want to jet some small lines with it, you want to connect the big hose to the small hose. These are a lot more appropriate to use than a true quote unquote eighth inch hose. What makes these different is that there's a steel braid inside these, or a, like on the stainless on the outside. The steel braid can hold pressure in with fewer braids than a typical poly hose, like the one I showed you before, the eighth inch. That allows for the bigger inside diameter. It also gives another advantage. Besides the fact that it can pass more flow, it can almost be tied in a knot before it kinks. It also makes it what we call pushable. Let me use this hose as an example. The stainless steel is nice for steel floor drains and steel pipe because you're not going to peel the jacket off. So I can stick it in this, it's a plastic entry, but it's actually a steel pipe. I can stick it in there and since it has some rigidity to it, I can push it. I can help it along. I'm not just relying on the jet nozzle to pull it in. A lot of times with the eighth inch poly hose, it'll ball up like spaghetti as I try to push and help it. The bronze hose, the steel braid is underneath the jacketing, so it's, it gives you both. Sometimes I've had guys say, well, the stainless hose rubs out the plastic fittings if the plastic fittings are really poor in an old, in an old building. The bronze hose has the jacketing to allow for some smoothness, but still has the pushability because it has a steel inner braid. But again, the major benefit of these two hoses is that they'll pass more volume. You can get more powerful jetting going in these smaller lines. And one parting shot on the Bronze Flex is it has the absolute shortest fitting and nozzle in the industry. So allowing to make that first turn a little bit better. And of course, there's a lot of different grease heads and different heads you get on these small lines to really get a more effective jetting in these very small pipelines. So I just wanted to cover some of these trap jetting hoses. Again, turning a trap can be a difficult thing. Maybe these will help you out as you do those indoor jobs in different locations. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest. And check out our website, jettersnorthwest.com. Thanks again, and happy jetting.